Well, it'll be Holly Furling taking up from the Parliament House end. Bowles and Sophie Reed defends away on the onside. And if I recall back to Friday, I think that was almost the same type of shot. So apologies there. And Cook bowls, full toss, and a big shout for LBW. Cook's got the breakthrough. Second ball of the innings, and Reed is gone. Is Cook bowls and a lovely shot flashed away over the top of the slips. Gully Corden by Nicole Foldham gave it the full face of the bat. Coming at her, it's a really nice little early trigger movement. And a lovely shot through the covers. Magnificent drive from Nicole Fulton. She moves to 11. How about that for a shot? Henry drives firmly down the mid-off. Oh, beats in the, in the fielder there, Simona. And it'll go down to the boundary rope for four runs. So, took all the runs. Fulton on the onside. That's a nice shot too. Worked away beautifully through mid-wicket. All the way along the ground. And picks up another boundary to Nicole Fulton there from the talk, captain. There was talk about a bottle of wine. Here's Alicia Bates now. On the back foot on this occasion from Fulton. Gets to the left of backward point. That'll take some stopping. And an excellent effort from Gabby Sutcliffe. But in vain in the end as here comes Furling now. Good length. Bolt. Oh, she's been bold. Sorry, I thought I hit her on the pad, but it's gone straight through. And Nicole Fulton has to go. Furling now to Henry. Full, driven, driven beautifully down the ground. No one will be able to cut that one off. And that's come straight back from where it came from, from Olivia Henry. You know, she's probably not too far away from a few wickets. Shorter on this occasion. Pulled and pulled hard. Nice and straight on this occasion from Ella Haywood. And she taps her bat down as if to say, I knew that was going for four. Haywood drives out through the leg side, piercing mid-wicket. She finds four, and Ella Haywood moves to 22. There on the onside, Simona Bowles. Al chopped on! It's all over for Olivia Henry. Looks like from our angle the ball was just chopped onto the stumps. Oh, Flintoff, that's a nice on drive. Oh, misfielded by the 10 gold kicker, Zoe Cook, and it trickles into the boundary rope. A couple of other young stars on display here. It's Leeson to Haywood this time, who goes aerial and goes big. That'll be four runs, two bounces, and over the boundary. Did a great job as well. Alicia Bates this time. Off the outside edge, run out is on here, and a direct hit, that will be out. And Gabby Sutcliffe has been so good in the field. Bates again short on this occasion. Helped around the corner from O'Donnell. She's timed that nicely. And that will beat the diving Simona to the boundary. And so it's all about... She plays here over the top of the bowler's head, right down the ground. Looking for four. There's two fielders after it. They won't get to it. And Tess Flintoff finds a boundary. Got a real power game. So is this batter. Flintoff drives over the top and mid-off. Beautifully timed. And third bounce over the rope from Tess Flintoff. Moves along to 33. End of the 39th over. Here's Carly Leeson. Full and bold. Great change up once again from Carly Leeson. So the wickets, <coughs> excuse me, it's a little bit quicker. And there's been a bit more positivity around the batting. Oh, full toss net in the air by O'Donnell. And it'll bounce just in front of the rope down there at Cow Corner. Great work from O'Donnell. It's Day. Looked like she had real intent to heave that up over the fielder's heads. Instead, it'll trickle right down to the rope. Just got a little edge on it. Enough to claim another boundary for Victoria from the Parliament House end. And she's Boulder. A big swing and a miss from O'Donnell. And it's Simona that gets the breakthrough again. She got rid of Tess Flintoff earlier. Keep attacking just outside all stump. About full stump line. Oh, just over the head of Gabby Sutcliffe. Cripps 
Straight back to the bowler, alas, along the ground and Cook down on one knee here. I hope she hasn't hurt herself. It was a sharp catch, potentially. Zoe Cook, uh, a tough operator. Looks like she's fine. Probably saved a couple of runs there. It was smashed very hard and low to Rebecca Carter. It's full driving from Carter to point. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> All of a sudden comes Illingworth again. Full on this occasion. Driven nicely from Carter. Will she get past mid-off? She does. There is a hand on it. It has been slow down at that part of the ground so far today. It's trickling away, trickling away. Oh. And an excellent piece of work. And in the end, it was the hand that saved her. But they've run four oh. anyway. <laughs> it ceases to amaze oh, the that... breadth of conversation we have up here. <laughs> Pull shot. Short. Heaved away magnificently by Beck Carter. Bates bowls a bit shorter. Mack gets on the back foot, hammers it through mid wicket. Sophie Day can't stop the boundary. Fine leg, fairly square. Bates bowls tossed up, driven magnificently, lofted in the end by Carter. Over the top of mid off, down to the rope for four runs. Oh, Mack has been bowled. Came across the wicket. Tried to work it down to a bit of room and fine leg, and Haywood has hit leg stump. The first wicket falls. Coming over the wicket to Leeson, who drives over the top of the fielders, right down the ground to find four. O'Donnell into Carter. Driving really nicely out through the offside, and it's made it all the way to the rope for four. Victoria just falling over the rope as they tried to cut it off. Here's O'Donnell again. Full and this time Carter goes over the top. This will be one bounce and over the rope. An excellent shot. The angle was created there from O'Donnell as she came around the wicket. Well played, both. Totally agree. Sophie Day now from around the wicket to Leeson who goes into her favourite area over the top of mid-on. And a couple of bounces across the rope it goes. Comes Day to finish off her first over. A big shout. And the finger goes up from Drew Crozier. Carly Leeson has to go. And really push the rate if required late. McDonald again. Slower this time. Top edge up in the air. Will this be caught? It will. And Adela Haywood with the catch. Make no mistake. That was a lot more difficult than it would have looked. Comes Day again. Down the wicket this time, Porter. That's what we know she can do. Hit with power. Hit with authority. Nice and straight. Here's Day. Bowls to Porter. It comes down the wicket. Thumps it. High and hard over mid-wicket. Second bounce over the rope. Four runs. Porter now on strike. Oh, hit on the pads. Umpire has a look and it's gone. Porter is given... LBW. Cook's on strike. Bates bowls. Cook goes for an LBW. That's out too. Another LBW. Sam Bates gets the breakthrough. Cook trying to sweep it away. Driving through the covers. And Reeks. She'll find the boundary. Adding four to her total. She moves to 13. So Reeks on nine. Facing Ella Haywood. Sweeping down on one knee and the crowd will applaud that because she's found the rope again. Flintoff into Reeks and that one really caught her by surprise. Got tucked up in sort of couldn't get the ball to play the shot she liked and that was coming from a mile away. Tess Flintoff has been peppering Angie Reeks for quite some time in this innings. We're trying to build a new partnership here. It's Burton. There's a chance. And the umpire says, yes, yes, yes. Burton departs for two. It was a little cameo at the crease. And Ella Haywood. So far today, 58 earlier on, and a couple of wickets so far. Oh, and she's bolder. Tess Flintoff sees Alicia Bates back to the sheds. You know, their key development years is... In comes Illingworth again, short of a length this time. Beats Fulton, was it off the outside edge of the bat? Sutcliffe goes and it does get to the boundary. We'll wait to see the signal. Don't necessarily reflect in her stats. 
Martin comes day. There's Sutcliffe. She goes aerial on this occasion. Into the gap as well. Beautifully placed. Tess Flintoff now short. Helped around the corner from Furling. That will go to the boundary. She would have come to watch her last game. Here's Bates again. Up is from Sutcliffe. Will this be caught? Coming underneath it. O'Donnell takes the catch. An unfortunate end there for Gabby Sutcliffe, who'd done so well. 23 from 27 balls. Another excellent performance. Slow this time. Leading edge from Furling. Will this be caught? It will. And with that go the hopes of the ACT Meteors. Sophie Day it is who takes the catch. Sam Bates with her third and final wicket with her last ball of the day. Three for 36 for her. And the season of both the ACT Meteors and Victoria comes to a close.